opening two things actually a large can of the fruit cocktail and it says it's in heavy syrup you can get the light syrup if you prefer because I'm actually going to drain half this syrup this can is 29 ounces and then I got a can of crushed pineapple because I'm going to be doing two things with it and um, this can is 20 ounces you can see that I am only going to use a little bit of this crushed pineapple in with my mixed fruit cocktail I opened up the large container of the pudding mix and just um, incorporated that mixed it together with that large can of fruit cocktail and you can see it's kind of thick which is okay I did add some crushed pineapple because I really like the pineapple about half of that can mixing this together and it is already kind of setting up it doesn't need to be runny because when you fold your whipped cream in there it is going to be light and fluffy you want it just like the consistency of a pudding add some pecan chips into mine this is just adding into the fruit mixture that is about a half a cup now depending on how much you love your pecan chips and how many other things you might be making you may want to add more but I did a half a cup in mine now I'm using the mini marshmallows that are the fruit flavored orange strawberry lemon and lime and I <laughs> I'm gonna be kind of liberal with mine as you can see there are multiple colors they're kind of a pastel color and that'd be really cute if you really want a traditional angel salad uh, or angel fluff whatever you call it it's your holiday salad you can use the little miniature white marshmallows but this adds a little bit more of the fruit flavor and it's just really festive looking I think I'm using the large 16 ounce tub of the cool whip and I am going to fold my fruit mixture into the cool whip and you're gonna have to use the entire tub folding this over you're not stirring it you're folding the fruit and pudding mixture in with the Cool Whip. I've gotten everything folded into the whipped cream and I'm going to transfer as much as I can to this trifle bowl so it's really pretty. And then I'll cover that bowl with some uh, red holiday saran wrap and put it in the fridge so it can be chilling. And if I can wait overnight, I will, but probably won't. I'll probably have some tonight. It's best to eat this uh, once it's been in the fridge chilling for 24 hours. You know, if you can wait that long, great. So believe it or not, I actually fit all of that salad into from the mixing bowl into my trifle bowl. This is my version of angel salad, or if you like to call it angel fluff salad. So I'm giving myself sort of a taste of home and um, something that my husband can eat as well since I use the sugar-free pudding although the fruit syrup um, the fruit cocktail the syrup was not fat or sugar-free it was the heavy syrup I should have got the light syrup but you'll have to forgive me for that I can change the regular Cool Whip out for either the fat-free or they do make a sugar-free Cool Whip but it is hard to find I have my grandmother's cookbook in the background it's a collection of her recipes and although this is not her version of the angel salad uh, please forgive me I did not have the ingredients to to make the cooked version of this which is um, where you use the eggs and the lemon juice and you uh, cook that up but I just I did the no cook version she always does go out of her way to make delicious vittles that's what we East Tennesseans call our food for the holidays <laughs> And I am really missing that. I've not had it for several years now that we've been moved out west. And it does not have cream cheese in it. So I hope she will forgive me. But this is as close as I could get to a, a taste of mamma for the holidays. I'm going to garnish this up in the refrigerator. And it will be nice and delicious and beautiful for Christmas Day. I'm going to put some of the stuff um, so that people know what's in it and I have some I kept left over so I'm going to put a little bit of the cherry some nuts um, sprinkle some of the, the marshmallows and just have that there on the top to make it look pretty so here is my angel fluff salad 
with what I tried to make as a Texas star on top. <laughs> I tried to give it a touch of Texas. She's all wrapped up, ready to open on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, y'all.